folks welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm back in the kingdom of Fife and I've actually stopped off at Fife Zoo and I think it is kind of, it is, you know, it's quite a small zoo uh, probably not one that many people know about and I only actually just want to find out about it myself the other night so I thought I was kind of curious and I thought I'd kind of I'd come out and have a wee nosy to see what's going on. Uh, I will post a link to their website in the description bar below if you want to find out more about them and find out exactly where they are. Uh, and before I head out, if you're, if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So as the weather's actually quite uh, quite sunny and dry just now, I'm gonna grab my things, head on out. It might be a bit boy, so it might be the sort of day to get the, the make out. But hopefully this will be a nice wee visit. Hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. So I'm just gonna get my things, head on out. So that's me just coming up to the entrance. Well, this is inside the visitor centre, so they've got a nice wee cafe in there. So if you want to treat yourself to something. Yeah, so I was talking to one of the members of staff just there that was coming in. Uh, and they was just telling me that uh, the zoo itself opened up at the end of 2019, so just before everything started to be locked down everything, and everything started to go a bit askew, but they are hoping that from this year they'll be obviously opening up more, they'll be getting more stuff done and there'll be essentially more to do. So again, they are quite a, a small new zoo. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what, what happens and what takes place. So yeah, we'll definitely going to have a wee wander around, try and see some of the animals and show you what's going on. This is the the first enclosure that I've come to, so it's the meerkat enclosure. I don't think any of the meerkats are out yet. And they are doing work on having a, a discovery centre. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think some of the animals are being a bit shy today. So, oh, I'm going to keep wandering around and see, try and see what else I can find. Because I know they've got like it's a tortoise, they've got the meerkats, they've got things, they've got some porcupines as well. So, some definitely some interesting things for folk to, to see while they're here. And I think it continues down that way, so I'm going to keep heading down that way and see what else there is. And they actually have a, a lima enclosure as well. So, see what's coming. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you can see them, but there was some monkeys in there. I think, I think they've gone back inside. I think I startled them a wee bit when I was walking back down. Yeah, this is what I saw. Yeah, that was the, the wee baby that I saw. I think there's an adult in there as well. Uh, it's not very good to try to get a video through the, the, pers the perspex. Is there having some breakfast? So the tortoises were all inside. Try to keep warm and out the wind. Yeah, I found the lemurs. They're all hiding up in the roof space of their enclosure. Having a wee snuggle. I think there's another one up in the back somewhere. Some of the meerkats are out. There's one, one on sentry duty, and I think there's one digging just there. Oh, and there's another one. There's currently like three. Yeah, the one in sentry duty is just sitting watching me. Just keeps looking over its shoulder. Yeah, so that's what they're going to be using their discovery centre for. So uh, schools can come here and learn things on a national curriculum. Meetings can be held here and birthday parties as well. Obviously, when the conference centre is finished, it would be quite an interesting little thing to have. And they also have a YouTube channel, so I'll try and look that up as well and leave a link. <laughs> well, let's be back from my visit to the Five Zoo. And yes, yeah, definitely some of it's uh, their only open for the past few years and again with everything that's been going on things have been a bit up in the air so hopefully fingers crossed things will all be starting to calm down and places like the Five Zoo will be able to find their feet and yeah it's kind of definitely been a wee, a wee interesting visit and I will again post a link to their website and to their YouTube channel 
in the description bar below. I've subscribed to the channel myself, so I'll be having a wee nosy when I get home at some of their videos. And yeah, um, it's been again. It's, this is what it was something I had not heard of before, so I'm kind of glad I came along and had a little visit. And um, hopefully, you will all have enjoyed this video as well, and you'll all be intrigued by the five zoo. And you, you never know if you're ever in the fight the five area, you can always come along and pay the zoo a wee visit. So. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.